I am with Grandmaster Sosonko and the second game of the tie breaks between MVL and Swiddler is going on. Uh, what do you think, what's your opinion about this position uh, that's currently on the screen? Well, in my opinion, the Black's last move, King C7, it is the, the very first line of the uh, computer. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's an incredible move what Vasily Graf did and the idea of this move, if Y takes on G6, I take with the H pawn on G6, Queen takes H8, Rook takes H8, Rook takes H8 and it's not check mm -hmm. anymore because King on C7 and I have time to play Queen F6, Rook on H8 is hanging. G takes f5 is the next move, or queen g5 is my next move with the penetration, and black is almost winning. So, king c7, well, I'm, I'm really very impressed about uh, king c7 this move, and Vasily Graf Maxim was thinking on a couple of uh, couple of minutes. And it's uh, in my opinion that, uh, that black now is uh, just better because g takes f5 is threatening. And uh, what to do with with uh, with white? I think rook c1, for instance. But what Korshner would say, it's only half a move after king b6. All problems are the same, and on the queen g5, in, in the end of the variation, and rook on c1 is hanging. It's um, uh, well, I'm not surprised that Peter Swider is thinking already about three minutes and uh, now uh, like in the very first game the time difference between two of uh, two of uh, gentlemen is uh, it's very huge yeah. Yeah, exactly but this bishop f7 yeah this move uh, picks up the pawn that was hanging yes of course but after um, imagine after g takes f5 queen takes d6 check king takes d6 if you take on f5, I take with the knight, knight takes f5, bishop takes f5, and black is better, but maybe white can keep the position, but it's all. I'm not sure about the other moves, like rook f8. Do you so, think yeah? gf5, he will in interpose rook c1 check, maybe, uh, just to make it more in... Yeah. I mean, you have to block it somehow, bishop c6. Bishop c6, yeah. Now, 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 on the other hand, I, uh, oh, bishop c6, you mean the pawn on f5, is, well, g takes yes. f5. And now rook c1. Maybe, the, well, maybe they, they, they could listen to, to us. So, <laughs> for our analysis. And, uh, no, okay. So, what do you think about uh, who will win this game? Any uh, prediction you could make? Well, gentlemen prefer black. So, so it could be the last game of this tiebreak. Well, in this case, well, he didn't play, by the way, um, uh, a rook c1 check, ah. and he took on a five. So, what? Well, maybe a knight takes a five. Knight takes a five. A knight e4 check, by the way, is also a move. Knight e4 check, king e7. But I don't know. You get a square on e4, but I, I get I get this square on e3. I don't know which is more more, more important. Well, but imagine knight takes f5, knight takes f5, bishop takes f5, and pawn on d3 is hanging. I think that black is uh, is somehow is is better because bishop c4, b5. Yeah, well, they're following. <laughs> 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 That's a question, uh, in my opinion, that our white can uh, keep this position. That's that's. Uh, well, thank you so much for your views. Pleasure.